The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Hi, this is Representative Al Baldassaro from Londonderry, and this is The Art of Politics, where I get to beat up on a state representative, Democrat, from Nashua, who is a friend, and we shake hands in the beginning, and there is no other show like our show. And we're number one. We're number one, Did that's you know right. that? Ladies and yeah. gentlemen, we're number, we're number one show one. That's right. of its type in the United States. But before I slap you around, let's talk a little bit about, because I understand there's an election coming up here pretty soon. Yes. In uh, Nashville. Are yes. you running? I am running. Uh, and now I... Uh, dog catcher? Or what no, are you running yeah, for? Dog no, uh, uh -huh. Alderman of Ward 6. Now, I'm saying this right now here, because by the time this comes on, the election Elections will be over. over. And I have been trying to do everything to help my opponent. For instance, I said today, I'll, or the other day, I'd bring in a sign to hold it up so that people could see it. She didn't want me to. And I'm, I'm doing everything that I possibly can to help. Right. And no matter what I do, it's... Well, you know, some... In, it's in politics. Most Democrats are intimidated. They don't want to come on here with me. They're afraid... You know, because I would embarrass them on the facts and because they can't talk the issues. How can you to come here and talk to people how you're going to tax them? How can you come on here and tell them how you, you don't care about their premiums or the deductibles being five, seven, eight, ten, twelve thousand dollars? How can you sit and talk about that? Hey, Al. Yeah. You're so full of it. But it's the <laughs> truth. <laughs> Ask the people. It's not the truth. Talk to your constituents. Oh, yeah. And, and you know something, ladies and gentlemen? You know, I, I just love this guy. I'm insurance, you know, up in Congress. Here we go again. You know Here we nothing, go again. All right? Here we go again. So what Trump had done is he had stopped the money coming in to help the poor so they could get their okay. medicines. Can I ask he you something? He stopped that. No, he didn't. Oh, he, yes, he did. Wait, so, wait. Yes, he did. You just lied again. No, no, wait, no, 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 wait, no, no. You're partially no, no. right. You're partially he, right. He, excuse me. He didn't stop the. A court order came out when Obama was the president and said the millions of dollars he subsidized the insurance company was illegal. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> you don't even know what you're talking about. It was about. illegal. You don't know what you're talking about. So now. The Attorney yeah. General Sessions advised Donald Trump that, Donald, The liar? He's that, lied three times. That you How mean, can you believe him? That Congress controls the purse strings. They have to vote in that Congress. money. Woo, woo, woo. Congress. Okay? All so Republicans. Listen to All what the Democrats did under Obama. Illegal. With the subsidies. Yes, and I love how the, okay. uh, the economy is doing so well. It is doing, I mean, if it wasn't for Obama. The economy is doing great. Yeah, no, it has nothing right. to do with Obama. That's right. Oh, we absolutely. No, of course not. Do you, do you realize the people in Nashville are smarter than you think? They understand and they see. They're in the trenches. They know what's going on. They see who's working, who's not. They know who's paying more in excuse insurance. Excuse me, excuse me. People, people in Ward 6 and in the city of Nashville understand less than 10 years ago. They had lost all everything that they possessed. Like banks what? went out. Like what? Excuse me. Wait, like excuse what? Excuse me. Banks went out. What banks? Cos excuse me. What banks? I had an uncle who was called on a half a million dollar loan. Listen to this. Yeah. From a bank. Yeah. In 
45 years. Not only did he not, never miss a payment, he was early on a payment. Okay. It was a, a bridge loan for his business. 45 years. Don't tell me. No, wait, wait, wait. Why? You know, you just brought something up. You don't, you you don't know give what you're all talking the about. For a bank to call them, You don't know why? what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I do know. No, you don't. You're, you know, some, your, your speaker, Norelli, the Democrat, had no confidence in your do committee, you, do you, took the insurance, do you, do you realize, and brought the finance. Do you realize, ladies and gentlemen, that it is the Republican Party that just made it harder for you and me to sue, guess who? The banks, if they screw up. No, we didn't. That's right. They make no, we it, didn't. Yes, we, get, show, we, can't, show get, we me, can't get involved. You show me. You, you just threw all garbage yeah. again. Do you think, are the people that stupid? Are the people that stupid that watch our show? Are they? <laughs> that they agree with the garbage you throw? Oh, well, talk I, about something other than insurance. Yeah, I know a little bit more I, about insurance Well, let's than you talk do. about the Democrats. This is, this is, let's this is, talk about the Democrat do, party, do, how do they screwed over Bernie Sanders. how bad it is? People have no idea regarding the insurance. Now, let me make something really clear. People who work in, in insurance agencies and people who work in banks, great people. They don't make the laws. But let me tell you something. The things that they're doing, you wonder why it's going to cost more money. Like no, what? It doesn't, it doesn't make like any difference. Like what? Yeah, it makes a difference. You say stuff and you have no backing. Like what? What are the things they're doing? Tell me. Tell me. I got they three. They just said one. I got three they banks. Just, excuse, excuse me. They just had the Republican Party pass it so it's harder to sue banks. How? Sue banks. What, what Can you law? you imagine that? What law just passed? What? Oh, what law, what just, law passed? just passed? You said, you told me earlier, right, so let me, you let told me. me earlier Trump didn't sign any bills. Well, how could a bill pass? All right, he didn't sign any bills. Didn't you tell me Trump didn't sign any I bills? I got a question. Anyone out there, he's always saying do facts finding. Look it up. You'll find out that it is hard enough to sue banks. In fact, it's almost, it's almost impossible. Yet you lost your house. You lost your, 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 your money. You lost mm -hmm. your savings. People's houses, you know, were, some, how, people's houses were taken away from them. Why were they taken they away? They were taken away Tell from them. Tell the truth. Why were they taken away? Because of the scam mortgages. Oh, wait okay? a minute. And who, guess who did the It me. was the Democrats. And guess who did the banks? The Democrats. Guess who did the mortgages? You know, some, the banks the did banks. the mortgages. But what happened is George Bush, when he became the president oh, eight God. years, okay, when his first term, he went to Schumer and others there and said about the issues that are going on with Fannie Mae and uh, Fannie Mac, whatever they were. They said, oh, no, no, nothing's wrong there. They were buying up bad loans. They were letting people That's get into true. homes. Whoa, 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 they were letting whoa, people whoa, get into whoa, homes whoa, 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 whoa. that couldn't afford that, them. Whoa, 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 that's not what happened. No, it is that's what no, happened. No, no, that's not what happened. You know what something? No, that's not what happened. I've owned 11 homes you, in my life. Yeah, okay, you've owned okay? 11 homes. I've owned 11 homes If you would like to know life. what happened, I'll tell you. No, no, you're going to give me no, no, BS. No, no, I can't tell no, you. No, no, you don't tell the truth. Here, they packaged everything up, bad and no. low, and then they sold it across the, across the world. Mac That's the Danny ones, May the bankers. The, homes. the people, if you lost your Wall home, Street, ladies you know, and gentlemen. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Got to drain the swamp? Who's, who's running Wall? Who's in there uh, doing our finances? A guy from Wall Street? The guy who took a 95-year-old lady's house away it's by already, accident. That's already been proved that was all BS. That's already been proven. He just threw out garbage here that the Democrats continue to do. Okay, they, well, well, you well, all well, can't talk about the real issues. You've got to throw out false stuff there. You just can't. You never come up with facts. Let's talk about the Democrat Party. What's going on with Donna Brazil? Good. Okay, and don't change the subject on me I, now I, because I, the truth's coming out. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm see. I took an article from CNN because he don't believe anything else. That's all he watches. The joint fundraising agreement that Hillary Clinton did during the primary, because the Democrat uh, National Committee was crashing and burning. They didn't have the money to support that election. So Hillary Clinton funded it. There's a copy of the agreement, okay, and I brought it here, okay, and it, it talks about joint fundraising agreement. Donna Brazil, in her new book, talks about how Hillary Clinton scammed Bernie Rand Sanders in the election how he didn't even have a chance, how the system was rigged. Elizabeth Warren just came out recently and agreed with Donna Brazil that Hillary Clinton controlled the Democrat Party and rigged the election for the Democrats. So you all had a great candidate, the veteran there. What was the veterans there, uh, which I thought was probably your best candidate? The, I don't know. The one from Virginia there. Yeah, he writes book. books. Webb? Yeah. 
I don't know. Uh, Jim, Jim Webb, he was a state senator. And they screwed him over along with all the other Democrat candidates to get Hillary Clinton to run. Bernie Sanders was one in many states, and they stuck it to him with all these super delegates. Now, oh, well, well, did, wait, wait. did you I know ask, anything about that? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. You a Republican? I am a Republican. How good of a Republican? I'm a very good Republican. How good of a no, Republican? Give it a break. Get to your point, which is garbage. What has this good? got to do with? What has this got to do with anything? You, hey, ladies and gentlemen, they can't talk about Trump because Here you, should we I, go. Excuse me. Should wait, I, wait. I'm not let, done. Let, let, no, let no. Me, let me read Let's this. Let's finish the conversation. Okay, right. You have nothing to say. Are you believing what I'm telling you? What? Are you believing what I'm passing yeah, you what, that what the I, system what's is telling, What you're telling me is you're changing the subject. No. Propaganda. No, we That's haven't got to change no, no, the no. subject. No, we what haven't got What has that got to do with anything? You know something? Here you go. You just turned this Excuse whole thing me. around. Excuse me. You've been what telling me. trying to change the subject? He's changing the subject. The people are smiling <laughs> That's in your good. Thing. You know, uh, the people, you're changing the subject. I'm talking about the Democrat Party. If you read the union lead at WMUR here yesterday, you will see the Democrat Party here in New Hampshire is in an uproar. Okay, there's all this infighting going on because my friend Remy uh, Cushing, who is a Democrat from Portsmouth or Hampton, is very mad that we had a, vet a, a candidate uh, forum yesterday. Yeah. I'm running for speaker. There, the forum was a nonpartisan forum, and Remy was mad. He wrote a five-page, four-page letter to your Democrat chair and ask them why they're not having an election within the Democrat caucus to see who would be the, the, the run for the Democrat uh, speaker. They screwed him over. He was unhappy. It's someone, all over the someone news. Someone could stand up and say, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm running. But it's not happening. No, you he know, could have stood up. He did stand up. Did he say, I'm and running? They, yeah, they denied him. Who denied it? Shirtlift, the minority leader. Excuse me. When you go inside, when you go inside, excuse oh, me. Here we when go. you Give go inside garbage. Rep Hall, Give us you can garbage. stand up, can't you? Mm. Can't you walk over and say, I'm I'm running for a speaker? Can you anyone can, do that? You can, but they denied him. No, Shirtlift no, denied no, him. No, I didn't say that. I said, no, no. In, Rep you're, Hall, I can't walk wait, up there and say, I'm not listening to speaker. Me. You're not listening to me, Representative. I said, you said in caucus. I said for the format, the speaker's format uh, that we had, Okay, no other Democrat within your was able to go forward because your Democrat Party stopped it. Okay, you have other people that want to run. They wanted to be there so they can like answer who? questions. Like who? Uh, I just told you. What Remy do you mean? Didn't want to run. Clean your ears. Remy, Remy, Remy didn't want to run. Okay, Remy didn't want to run. Here we go no, again. Listen to the garbage you, you, you just know, passed ladies out. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I just really would like to bring upon you is that they're, they can't, they must go back to Hillary Clinton. It's propaganda. It's right here. This is what they do. They just keep going back okay. and back and back. Call people names. Can the, propaganda. Can the, um, False news. Propaganda. Can the computer look at this? I mean the camera. This is WMUR. Disagreement emerges among New Hampshire House Democrats over choosing nominee for speaker. Who's lying? Who's not telling the truth? Okay. Uh, here's, here's a good one. Creating a false dilemma, an example. False dilemmas is where one chooses. Are you saying WMR is wrong? If they are only hey. two opinions, for is example, WMR President WMR saying lying? in order to Ken. reduce the deficit, we have Ken. to either tax the Ken. wealthy more or ask seniors to pay more. Ken. False. Ken, Ken is false. The, is the, where are you at? Are you crazy? We're talking about here. Oh, WMR. Two, propaganda. Is WMR? Is WMUR lying on their TV show? What has that got night? to do with the president? No, we're talking about what's going on in the Democrat Party. Is WMUR lying? About what? You know, Sam, <laughs> I think I'm going to get up and walk away here in a minute because I'm wasting my time here with this guy. Okay? See, this I the, get they, aggravated. They can't take it. That's No, right. no. You can't but take why it. can't you answer the questions? You want to do a TV no, show? No. I don't want to do a TV show you're, of BS. You're asking a question, are they lying? The answer is, I don't know the story. You're t you just told I me what the story you. is. I showed you. Here's having, the article. Having said that, having said that. Here's the article. Okay. WMUR. Okay, here we go. Read Cushion's full letter to the House Democrat leader, Steve Shirtliff here. Okay, uh, what, what he did with Shirtliff okay, what and they, how he was denied. Explain to the people what happened. What happened is, three weeks, two, three weeks ago, when they found out there was going to be an election for the speaker, 
some of the, apparently there's some Democrats in there weren't happy, that are not happy with their minority leader. They want to run for speaker, okay? And they have that right. So they wanted to be invited to the nonpartisan uh, speaker forum, uh, forum that we had yesterday. Their minority leader denied him, said, no, we're not going to have a caucus election. Okay, so he's mad now. He writes a four or five page letter to the Democrat chair of New Hampshire. In New Hampshire, and he did nothing. So Remy shows up yesterday, which is a guy, I love Remy. Him and I are co-sponsored on a bill to fix uh, something now on the elderly scam bill. We're working together on this. And he's mad. He's sitting there. He said, I should be up there. You know, this should have been a race. Why didn't you go? Because your Democrat caucus did No, I, I know that, but, but you have a right to no, go up don't. and petition. No, he did petition. Is there a speaker it, there? Who is running it you know, yesterday? What don't you, it was the Freedom Caucus that ran it, and then the AFP put it on because they're nonpartisan. Okay, they paid for. They won't pay for a Republican or a Democrat, but they'll pay for a nonpartisan uh, forum. Okay, and then you had people like Drew Klein, uh, Andy Crew, um, who else was there? Somebody from education. Uh, it was a great. I thought it was a great forum, but I felt bad for Rennie because your minority leader cut him down. You know, hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's get let's get something straight. What? Get me something no, straight. No, no, no. The, the facts are right I am, there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If you be That's straight. Excuse me. Okay. You be quiet. You hate the facts. No, Go I ahead. don't. Yeah, you do. I happen to I happen to agree with Al. Uh, we we should not. What? Wait. Say that again. You what? What did you Can say? I finish. No. What did you just say? I agree with Al. Holy yeah. poop. <laughs> 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 hey, I what was that about. TV show that you used to go? My grab is hot there. Oh, <laughs> oh here I go. <laughs> I can't remember the name. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Look, uh, if if you have a Democratic, mm -hmm. Democrat, yes, and they lose the House, they lose the Senate, right, mm -hmm. and they lose the governorship twice. Okay, they've had the they've had the house. Okay, excuse me. They've Wait, had the who? they had the house and the who? senate. Who? You yeah. guys had it. Republicans we have, we've had, had it. Yeah, we okay. had. Okay, when this happens, yeah, I don't care what anybody says. These people got to go. I don't care who. Shirtliff has to go. But he has but, to go. Okay, but that mean, but that's and, much, excuse me. That's that's the way right. I feel. And and mm. I'll, and I and he he promised me to do something and he didn't do it. Now to give you he the benefit of the doubt. So he's no, he's got to go. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt because you you were honest with me earlier, which is very few times. You didn't know about this. So no, I, I didn't. So I hit you with a curveball on this here because apparently, and matter of fact, what I brought up here also is the. If conquered. that if that's the truth, if that's the truth, then then that's that's yeah. wrong. Now look, here's the conquered. And wait, not only who's the head of the Democratic Party? Who's the head of the Democratic Party? Is uh, Buckley? Buckley's got to go. Yeah, Buckley. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I am Look a Democrat. I want to win. The, I don't want to lose. If the, Buckley can't do it four or five times in a row, and our House Minority Leader can't do it, or bring people, I, they got to go. You see That's what this all? says here? Concord Monitor, Shirtliff accused of trying to muscle out other Democrats for House Speaker. Concord Monitor. Now, did I make this up? No. Okay. Concord Monitor is a liberal Four newspaper. Three articles. Okay. Okay, yeah, yep. let's just say right. on the articles I got coming. All right. That's wrong. It is wrong. That's because wrong. Because I think, I think the Democrats deserve to pick. I just want to show this here to him. Okay? Stand with Al. Mm -hmm. I just want to see how stand he is. Stand with Al. So I stand with Al. Oh, God. Because when, when I was with the uh, Trump election, uh, you know, campaign, yeah, when I was being attacked, People all around the country was doing hashtag I stand with Al. It was great. So bumper sticker, I got sent. Uh, you yeah, know, can I done. ask you a question? Why are you guys uh, now? I have a Facebook page. You can what I this, do, by the way. So uh, yeah, know. okay. I have a Facebook page, and I let everyone come on it. I do too. I don't stop anyone. Yeah. I hardly ever say a word. And when I when I put some, if somebody says something really rude, the secret of not getting too many people upset is asking mm. a question. Mm -hmm. This guy's a jerk and an idiot. You ought to be. A, excuse me, and I write. Is that the way, how you were taught right. as a child? But see, as, most as Democrats do that. And in fact, 
Nobody even knows who you are. And we got is, a few right wingers right? do that too. Yeah, that's right. No, you but got a I mean, lot of right wingers. But for the most part, most of them are Republicans. Most of, no, no, no. Most of them are Republicans. No, the, no, no, no. That's here we go again with your garbage. I just complimented said we have a few right wingers that do that. But 90% of the Democrats I deal with on Facebook are very rude. They can't debate, they attack, they draw out garbage. When you bring well, up the let's site. Show something. When you bring up the site. Let's, let's see. We'll show something. What's that? Well, they're rude. Put on something on Facebook. We'll see it. Oh, you want to see it? Okay. Well, let's keep talking yeah. then. Well, you know, you missed. We had a session yesterday on the governor's veto, and I, you know, while I'm doing this here, because I can uh, multitask, I thought the governor did a great job there on um, vetoing a bill that took away local control and made planning boards to work a lot harder and make separate votes on five different areas of a planning when a business comes in, which they were already doing. So I was kind of impressed there. And so he vetoed right. it. Yeah, but we didn't have that many legislators that he, were there. He, he didn't veto it because he owns a business. No, no. No, it has nothing to do with the business. This has nothing to do at all. His business is up and running. It had nothing to do with the business. But I can't get on Facebook there, but let me go here while we're doing it. Um, you know, it had nothing to do with his business. It had to do with uh, planning boards and local control. You know, you jump right oh, off the bat. Oh, he has oh, a business. Hold on, hold on a second. Excuse me, excuse me. Planning boards do things for businesses. If a business, businesses, if a business comes in and they want, right. a yes. planning board must plan it. So don't tell me, if, you, if you're so ignorant you don't know, if you knew planning the law, boards are... If you knew the law and you knew exactly what I was talking about, then you excuse would say... Me, excuse me, you, you, uh, what do you mean know the law? Planning what? boards, no. business. No, no, wait, you're not, you, didn't see, you, never, you probably didn't even know about it. Tell me what the amendment was. Tell me what it's about, what I'm talking about. Did he veto? Tell me what I'm talking about. You just about. told us. No, no. I want you to tell did me. You just since tell you me. know. Excuse me. Did you, you just, just tell jumped us? in and threw in business? Did you just tell, tell me? Tell me what the law no, was no, that he I'm vetoed. I'm playing that game with you. No, wait. It's not a game. Playing you just no, jumped in no, on something. No. Tell me what the law you was. You told me it has nothing to do with business. No, no. I said with business. And I said planning boards have a lot to do no, with no. business. No, wait. I said. Planning, had, business, land. I said the process. We're talking about the process. A process that they wanted to make it harder on cities and towns in the planning. Plan it's already in the law. Planning boards can already vote separately on the five steps. They have that right to do it. So what is the problem? What they wanted was the, the bill that passed, the, uh, the House and the Senate, they wanted it to, us to mandatory to make everybody vote one at a time. When It's a local control issue. The state should not be telling them when we already have a law. Yeah, but there's, a, there's great problems in that. You know What's that. the problem? Tell me the problem. The problems, Tell me the, problem. Are, the problems are really simple. Like what? Well, Explain he, yourself. He, I'm trying to. Do yeah. you mind? I'm listening. The, the great problem is uh, in planning boards, uh, and this does happen, not all the time, is that uh, there are people who are very petty many times. Uh, they go right down to the very inch on, many, on planning land, etc. And uh, many of them stop a great deal of what could get done uh, over some very foolish things. So this law may be, mm -hmm. may be good. But if, now wait a minute, if the Republicans voted it down. I'm letting him run his mouth here. No, is, if the Republicans voted, it, if the Republicans you voted it down, do you think, ladies and gentlemen, that maybe they're wrong? I just, I purposely threw a curveball out of my good friend, Representative Ken Gidd, just to show you how he'll talk about an issue and really didn't know about it. It has to do with zone invariances. When you go for a zone invariance, I threw him a curve on the planning. What are you talking planning. about? It has to do with zoning you go, and, when you, and when planning. You, <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> They're separate meetings. Zoning and planning. They're separate committees. They're separate. Separate committees. Okay, I just threw you a curveball just to show how you control God. You, you know, you know something. Not, no. When you say planning, guess what? It's something also to do with zoning. No. Why don't they put it together? No. Why don't they just put it they're together, zoning separate. and planning because together? Because they're waivers. They, if you've got an ordinance there, and the planning board has to comply with the ordinance of the town, if you need a waiver, you have to go in front of the zoning board to get the waiver. That's the, that's the law of the land here in New Hampshire. So the law of the land in the zoning board, I thought you would know about it because that's why I said there's five areas. The zoning is the only one that has those five areas they comply with when they're doing a waiver. 
Does it meet the, you know, and I don't, don't ask me, I can't tell you all five years. No, I know, no, 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 no. Because I never no, said no, on No, it. no, no, I, you know I mean? take my so word. So I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Oh, really? here we go. Take your word. No, 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 no. Al, I'm trying to stick up for you. One thing. You stick up for me. I don't need you to stick I'm up for me. I'm running for all the men of the city of Nashua. Yeah. I have some idea how the city works. Have you and been in Albany so if before? You, if you don't, no. If you don't mind, if you don't <laughs> mind, I'd like to talk to you about it. Okay. okay yeah. All right. All right. Tell me. Zoning. And okay, and planning boards are separate, yes, they but be. they do work together. Right, but they should be separate because well, there's different missions. Yes, but you can imagine now these are, uh, well, we're a democracy, so these people are elected. Right. So it's a popular vote. Many times people uh, who have a, a great deal of knowledge of zoning do not want to get into the political arena. They don't want to go through the, the junk. They don't want to sit in these meetings, and, and I've, I've seen some of these meetings uh, talk about one sentence for two hours. I mean, Can I read something so may. people understand <clears throat> yes. what the, what Are the law is? Are we moving on? Or? Yeah, we'll, no, I'm, I will, we will soon. The current law allows zoning boards to take one vote to cover all five criteria for granting a variance, streamlined procedure, which many boards have chosen to utilize. House Bill 86 would remove this option and require that every zoning board in the state take separate votes on each of the five variances criteria. Such regulation is streamlined development and economic growth. Okay? If a community wishes to require its zoning board to take separate votes on each of the five variance criteria, that community can do it right now. Rather than the state getting involved in local control in telling you you yeah, it's will a little, it's a little take bit, a separate it's, vote. No, I understand. It's a little bit more than that. Right. But. No, no. What do you mean it's a little bit more than that? Explain. What's a little bit more? Help me out. All right. So I understand what you, you know, mean. If, if there's a uniform rules. <coughs> ordinances. Uh, rules. Ordinances. Okay. In planning. There for variances of, of right. planning. Mm -hmm. Fine. I have no problem. Mm -hmm. When there's not, in cities and towns, many times this is a popularity mm -hmm. vote. Person owns a piece of property over here. Uh -huh. This guy wants to build a garage. Right. Right. This neighbor doesn't like this neighbor. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's one inch off. He needs a you know a variance or a zoning mm -hmm. or, or planning or something. Right. All right. They won't give it to him. Mm -hmm. There's no really laws to say you you really can't do that because you don't like the guy putting Actually, in the garage. Is. Actually, there is laws because there's ordinances in the town. Oh no, and I understand. No, no, I'm not saying um, that. They're saying if, if they were all even. If you're an inch. If, if, if you built an inch over on somebody else's property, that's illegal, what you did. Hey. You encroached. That's all. There's a law on encroachment. Yes. I'm very knowledgeable in this Yes, okay. Yeah. I've been to many planning board yeah, okay. meetings. Yeah, okay. Someone zoning. bills on you. Someone so what I'm saying is, yeah. Right. So I'm saying that there are laws for this stuff here. Now, New Hampshire is not a home rule state. Okay? So what that means to the people watching is, Cities and towns cannot make laws, ordinances, unless the state gives them that authority. Okay? So any ordinance uh, uh, is backed that the towns do is backed by an RSA. Otherwise, they can't do it. You knew that, I'm sure. Yeah, but you know. You, yeah, but what? Yeah, but stop, what? Yeah, stop and think about that. And it ha RSA. So it has to go through how many people? It, the, but that's the, how that, many people? But that's the New Hampshire way. How many people? 400. Uh, 400. Let me say, then it's got to go away. Through what? 24 senators. Then it's got to go through right. who? Then it's gotta, well, come on, let's not be an idiot. Well, I'm, I'm just telling you to, 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 to make a right. little. No, 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 no. It's got to go to the governor for a signature. Executive. No, it don't go to the executive council. It's RSA. Excuse agent. me, executive council is sitting right there. No, they don't. The executive council has nothing to do with our laws. Uh, they don't make the laws. We do. And then the governor signs them. No. Uh, Al, the executive council votes on contracts. Al, okay. Am mm. I wrong? I know you just made a mistake. No, I Al, uh, no, Al. Am I wrong? Yes, you are wrong. You telling me the executive, executive council votes on our laws? All right, okay, wait a minute. Does the executive council vote on I'm our laws? I'm sorry, I'll take it back. The question is if, God help if help. Nashua has something this small, okay, it shouldn't take 100 miles to fix it. That's probably what they're trying to say. If it's something this small and they can change it and they no. can move on and make no. it easier. You, now, the whole state Very, has to vote on four inches here in Nashville? It, it, no, no, no. It's already in the laws. The laws are already in place. Ordinances are there. Your, your city has already adopted many. I, I've gone and fought planning No, no, I'm, I'm talking about changing. You know? 
But I'm, no, you can already change if it's in accordance with the RSAs. What I'm trying to say, there's the, the you state. Have, if you ha our if state has done a great... Tell them what an IRS, IRS. Uh, It's the law. I, an RSA is the law. An RSA with the number, okay, is the law. Now, we already have laws that assist planning boards, zoning boards, uh, moderators, election laws. We have all this in place. If somebody wants, like we try to make a change to workforce housing because um, some cities and towns are being sued and they're trying to build more and more apartments in city and towns that don't want all these apartments. Okay, so it's causing problems here in New Hampshire. But there's a law in order to correct that, you either fight it in court or the New Hampshire legislator has to go back in and relook at this law. Yeah, yeah. The executive council has nothing to yeah, do with okay. it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. I, no. No. I, I understand what you, I thought. I, I thought it meant something else. I apologize. Contracts are no, different. No, I thought it. All right. Executive okay. council. All right. Contracts. Uh, yeah, but the, that that's look. This is New Hampshire. Okay. We're we're a small state. We have low. We're, we, we're not laws. doing everything that we could we're do Republic. to make more money in the state of New yeah, Hampshire. Yeah, we are. I think no, we're, no, we're not. The governor's doing no, a great job. No, we're not. Why aren't we? No, we're not. Tell me why we're not. Well, because we're forty fifth in the United States for funding anything. No, we're not. Oh yes, we show are. Me, show me where. Do you realize that New Hampshire? You just threw out a bunch of garbage. Twenty years has been the least state to give money to charity. Did you know that? To give money to charity. You want to know? Did what? you hear? No, did you hear I me? Dis I disagree with you. I you disagree dis with you. Excuse because me. Because in the budget that we passed, okay, and I never seen you excuse with the me, budget. Excuse me, I'm talking about you. What? Charity. Oh, I give money all the time. Well, New Hampshire money. gives the least per capita per person in, in the United States. We just did a baseball game, raised ten thousand. What does 000. that have to do with it? We have in New Hampshire. See, they're not tracking. We have seventy-one. Um, Nonprofit parlors, gambling parlors in the state oh, of New Hampshire. Geez. These groups are going in. These nonprofits are getting ten thousand in a shot for a ten day period. Eight thousand, ten, fifteen thousand. We got. Uh, they just raised another three thousand for the homeless veterans. There, another problem. You know, la la so la la you ladies and gentlemen, I could disagree the, with you. Throughout the United States, per capita, New Hampshire gives the least money to charity. Period. That's factual. They don't track. Oh, it's yes, they do dollars. track. That's seventy-one dollars. Yes, they do track. At ten thousand dollars a shot. You don't think they track you know, Vegas? Some, I'm involved in fundraising, a lot of fundraising. Yeah, I'm well, not a rich guy, but I give fifty here, twenty-five here, okay, to the uh, to the veteran community to help out. I also do to the police fund. Okay, I've donated to them. You know, um, you know why I won't know, anymore? Why? I'll I'll donate. Uh, go directly to the department or go right down uh, and give to the... Uh, I give to the Manchester Police Fund. No, it, it, the re I'm going to tell you the reason why. I, they call. Mm -hmm. I want to help them. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll say, fine, where can I send a check? Mm -hmm. They say, well, you send it to us. And I said, well, uh, are you making money? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, they hire us. To, fine. I'd rather give it to... Police fund, mm -hmm. right. you know, the, the, the mother's well, children, okay? That's, that's how do. I give it. That's what I do. Police or firemen? It's ran out, it, the police fund is ran out of Manchester, okay? They're right at the police. Uh, I, I want to get money and I want to help they, them, but. These are cops that are calling there because they have a fund there for cops that have been killed in the line of duty. Okay, and I don't mind helping because I think we should be taking care of the kids like we try to do for the veterans. Did they get, did they, did, did they get 100 bucks off me for uh, uh, concert, uh, concert tickets? Did you hear about that one? Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, I, I think it was probably 75 for two tickets. Mm -hmm. So I give them the $75. All of a sudden, they write back and I said, there's not going to be any concert. You can't get your money back. What? Well, excuse me. You, I gave you $75. There's going to be a concert, which I was going to give the tickets right. to somebody else. Yeah, that's a bad one. Then. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I agree with you there. And, you know, even the veteran community there... The they take a, let's make a point. Don't take mm -hmm. advantage of the police here in Nashville. Right. Don't take advantage right. of the teachers. Don't take advantage yeah. of, of the police. Go firemen. right to the post. Don't do that. Go right to the VFW Don't post do that. the American Legion. Give it right then and there to help veterans. Or go to the police department. They have funds set up Correct. there to help. I agree with you there. Yeah. You know, I'm a voting member on the State Veterans no, no, Advisory but, but Committee. First, but first, understand, in the state of New Hampshire, for 20 years, we have been mm -hmm. the, least, the state that gives the least money mm -hmm. per capita per person. Yeah, it's yeah. true. I disagree with that. Well, no, no, you, you don't have to, have to disagree. You don't have to disagree. But you, I want you to show That's me factual. where the, I want you to show me all where right, the okay, fact right. is. All show right. it to me, okay, because I have to disagree with you. 
I'm in many, I go to many fundraisers. That's okay, Al, but I'm telling you. Let me explain you, something to the people on this no, um, all right, okay. on fundraiser. No, let, no hold I, on. On the fundraisers, I just want to explain something that's very important to the people. I'm a voting member on the State Veterans Advisory Committee. Every so often we have a Deputy Attorney General come in and, and brief our committee on fraud. There are groups coming into the state of New Hampshire that are trying to raise money on behalf of veterans, and they're out of state. They have nothing to do with New Hampshire. Be careful when you get these phone calls, like he said, the police fund, the veterans, okay? I, if you have to send a credit card over the phone, no, you're making never, a mistake. Never do, it, never, never do never, that. Never do that. No. Okay? If they say we're going to send somebody over to pick up the check, something's wrong. Okay? Look at your local... Yeah, call. Uh, I'll tell you what. Call okay? Al if it's veterans. Yeah. Look at your local people, BFWs, American Legion, police, fire. The fire have a great fund. They're out in the street. Yes. You know, for, their, yes. for them. Support your local yes. people. Yes. We support uh, your harbor homes. Uh, here in New Hampshire, uh, matter of fact, last year I brought them, I think, 12 or 14 turkeys. This yeah. year I'm trying to get them more again, yeah. you know, from yeah. Massachusetts, yeah. from my police collection there. So very important. Can't, if you question it, call the Attorney General's office. They have somebody who specializes you in You want to hear another ripoff? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give it to you now because I know it's going to be the, the election. Richard, the election will be over by the time this comes on, right? Because I'm going to say something. I hope they play it before. No, no, no. I hope they don't. Uh, listen to this. I go to my printer, Keystone, in Manchester. Mm -hmm. I call up. I get good prices. I go. I go, and I'm paying, and, and, and the owner says, come here. He says, uh, you're a representative. He says, you tell me, ask me something. And he hands me all these flyers. Uh, nice, nice work, et cetera. He says, yeah. He says, this is from Manchester. This is from Concord. This is another one from Manchester. Here's one from Nashua. Here's a, I said, okay, and your point is? He says, they all say that, you know, support New Hampshire. He says, I'm the only true, honest uh, printing company in the state of New Hampshire, okay, mm -hmm. that can give, put on the stamp of, of uh, unions. Union stamps. Oh, union stamps. Union, okay. Oh, okay yeah. I'm the only one. Right. He says, guess what? My next, right down on the street, I can see the place. She sends out Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And he says, look, all she had to do was call. If, they, if somebody in Massachusetts says, all right, I'll tell you what, uh, I'll do it at $10. Call him up. If he can do it at $10, it's keep it in New Hampshire, right? Yeah, but we also, all we got plenty of printing companies in New Hampshire. All these people going out of New Hampshire. We got plenty of companies in New Hampshire. Governors, uh, senators. I'm serious. Right. State of New. Listen to this, ladies and gentlemen. The state of New Hampshire does printing outside of oh, yeah. the state of New yeah, Hampshire. We do. Why? Why? Because it's a business. They're right, they're up Why? on the Facebook. What do you, why they can't do business out of Did state? Did you hear what I just said? Yeah. If the printing business can do the same work at the same price, where do you want it? I mean, you want it here, Hampshire, right? Okay, that's the problem. All everybody's doing it. Right, but that's the business. That's a free it's market. It's not business. It's a free market. Excuse me, to do it outside of the state of New Hampshire? Because you look for the best price. I just told you. You, you went, call up. No and wait. You, you went to your printer there. Okay, you got Capital Ken, who's a former state rep in in, in, in Concord. He owns the Capital Printing place there. He gives all reps a deal. Excuse me, on cap printing. capital printing? Capital printing. Is, it, is he a. Uh... He's a former state rep. He owns it okay. right across the street from the state house. Okay, and he's. So, what? what's your point? And, and he's what? He's a former state rep. He gives all okay, reps all a good right, deal. Okay, does he, he does business does he do all the around the country. Here? Yeah. Does the printing here? He's got his own printing press, everything yeah. right there. Right here in New Hampshire. Yeah. All right, well, I got news for you. It, it, excuse me, is he union? I don't know if he's yeah, union. Yeah, okay. There's only one why union he, person. Why does he have to be union? You know. Why does he have to be union? If you guys only saw the information by New Hampshire, live in New Hampshire, see New Hampshire, and they hand me the they hand me the paper and I take a look at it and it's in, done in Massachusetts, that's wrong. You want to know something? I I got prices in New Hampshire on political signs. I went on the internet, of the same size but a little a little bigger on my signs that are the plastic you know things. Yeah. yeah. Company in Concord, there where they print and everything, not the one I was telling you about, another one. 
want to charge me $325 with the wires for 50 I got another company on the internet there that's a little bigger, a higher thing for $250. So I, as a business person or as a legislator, why, when I put food on my table and I'm paying for my own campaigns, why would I want, not want to go for the cheaper price? You know, Al. Tell me why. Al, I'm going to tell you tell something. Tell me why. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Tell me why if it was that more expensive. That is the type of attitude that, that really screws New Hampshire people up. This guy has, all his people are now on 32 hours. He says all the work that's here and that's going out of the state, he says if they called and we can't meet or beat, fine, great. But nobody's doing that. Everybody's going to Massachusetts. That's not true. The, I beg the, your pardon. The, the local newspaper in New Hampshire, in my district, uh, the Londonderry Times, okay, their printing is done in New Hampshire. The printing press is there where they print their newspapers. The, you go to Derry, you walk into the Derry print shop in there, they got their printers in the back room. Now he's, what he's telling you is not true. Excuse, You're only excuse, talking excuse, a union, excuse, excuse, a union excuse, company. Excuse, excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to write a little article on it. I'm going to put it in union lead, and union lead is going to do some work on this because the simple okay. fact of the matter is, the simple fact is that so much business is being lost, and these mm -hmm. people are saying, stay in New Hampshire, work New Hampshire, support New Hampshire, and guess what? It's coming okay. from paper and other printers from just another state. Just to show state. you what he just said to you, I, just, I did a Google search that says print shops in New Hampshire. Look at them all. Look at them all that do their own printing here. Name it. In New Hampshire. Name it. Name one. Okay. Ace Printing Company, um, CJ's Print Shop. All right, give me, give me Man one. Man Press in we'll Nashua. See it. Uh, Copy give, Shop. Give me one. They give me all one. do. No. Matter of fact, if you go to what's the um, um, Staples? Staple prints my cards. Lady, I lady, send it to them. They do it right in the store. Ladies and gentlemen, what are you talking the about? The truth is, I saw all this work that was done from Massachusetts. Don't you dare stick what is up for Massachusetts. What is, don't you dare talk against why? the city of Nashville. You know, don't some, you dare talk don't about give me that. The, don't give me this BS. You just, don't told, you, don't you you dare. just told people you that your place in Nashua. Nashua. You support Nashua. I support no. the state of New Hampshire. I have a print don't shop. you support this? I have a print shop in Londonderry. I support that. I got another okay, one. Where that, is it? I got another one so, that puts the names. It. Let's see it. Embroidery. No, I got another see. one that does no, embroidery. No, no, let's see. Let's got see. the big printers right in this shop. Yeah, okay, let's see it. Do a Google search yeah, on New no, London. See it. London see it. Why are there printing shops going out of business? Because they're doing it in Massachusetts. No, they're not. Do they, you realize that there are, there you know, are the companies that he just mentioned, you know, some, some of them get the orders and then send them out of New Hampshire. No, they don't. Governors. No, they don't. Every, you know, some, the guy Ken is a very good friend. He was a state rep for about five terms. He owns it across the street. He has business. He brings business in from all over the country because he has a face website up there that does, you know, that sends them in orders. What, what is it? Ty type in the capital uh, print, capital print shop. All right, we got to find out. He does that. He even does political signs right there. You, you, you know what I mean? You're unbelievable. Nashua is not the only place. You can't be that stupid. Manchester. Capital print shop. Print shop, Capital Federal. In Concord, New Hampshire. All right, okay. He's right across the street from the um, State House. I yeah, saw capital copy, it's inside, called. I saw inside this printer's office. And by the way, if you don't want to do union, that's your business. But guess what? This person up there has all, has seen every single, what? I'm showing you on my phone, capital copy. If you walk in his shop, you're going to see the print machines. You're going to see, he does all the HRA pink sheets for us. He does so much stuff. I believe that he even does. Doesn't send anything out? I think he even does the HBs. Does he send everything out? Yeah, no, does he does he, it right there. Does he send anything out? You walk out? in his shop, he's got all the machines. Yeah, but okay. don't you understand? So he doesn't send it anywhere? No. Yeah. Well, he's got all the machines. I got some news for you, ladies and gentlemen. You, when you, you read me and see, you know something else? Are why, you calling me a liar? Why are you sticking up when I'm giving you some facts? No, no, you're giving me BS. Oh, really? You're giving me BS. So, so that's not happening? 
It might be so happening. So the governor hasn't sent his, out, his, his stuff out for another state, not even getting you know, orders from other people or, or quotes from other people? You know, so our senators, first of all, our, our congresswoman, what he all the same. Did, what he should have did was look at the bottom, if it's a political piece of dark, um, literature, paid for by. There were certain groups in other states, okay, that yeah, pay. Yeah, we know that. And they, and they call them ex in kind. Ex excuse Look me. at all the political excuse stuff me. the Democrats what did during the election. What he showed me was everything from New Hampshire. So don't give me no, this bull. No, I'm giving you it. Don't I'm give me it. this bull. You just lied how to the people. You, how dare you? For the working man and no, woman? No, no. The working, the working man, man and woman. Many and you're, and you're cities saying? and towns in New Hampshire have print shops that do their own, that have their own equipment. Go in London, Derry. You know, Look at the embroidery shop. There, yeah, You're an idiot. Go in it, You're an idiot. You know something else? You're stupid. You're an idiot. How could You're you an believe? idiot because I cannot believe you, you're not even listening to the facts. Because you said you only haven't seen it yourself. Ken, I Ken, want to keep the business Ken, here in the state. Ken, he doesn't want to. No, okay, because, ladies and gentlemen. No, he's that's wrong. Fine. Let's move he, on he just subject. threw garbage that out there. Subject. There's not only just one shop in the state. Oh, We've got many my businesses. God. Al, I saw the pile of stuff that okay. came from Massachusetts. Give me a break now. During the Governor, election. Governor, even the state of New Hampshire is sending, uh, sending printing out. During the election Why? committee, legislators have what we call, we report, in-kind contributions. State, when you run for Congress, when you run for U.S. Uh, Senate, groups, PACs from out of state pay for this stuff and flood us in New Hampshire. We know that, Look Al. at the election. We know he don't that, get Al. it. Al, that's what his I'm stuff is. I'm talking about the local stuff that's taking place right now. I was ashamed and shocked. Ken, These Ken, people are Ken, saying, Ken, wait a minute, Manchester. Ken, this lady is saying, smart. oh, you got to support New Hampshire. You got to do that. Ken, and the guys in the back saying, we're not going to vote for her. She sent it to Somerville, to another Ken, printer, not Ken, even getting a quote. Ken, right. Ken, if they're charging a union shop, I can imagine it's got to probably be a little more expensive to go to. In a regular no, shop. No. Uh, you, do you not know? True. Do you know? Not true. Do you know where I can not walk? Not true. These, That's not true. Do Don't letters. say that. What it, I, it, what it is today I it is technology. It is. I believe union it's shops technology. are more expensive. No. It, today it's technology. You know, some, I used to be a headhunter when I retired from the Marine Corps, okay, on dealing with jobs, and I worked with the associate bills and contractors. So you're against but, unions? No, no, I'm not against unions. You've been unions. against unions. Here we go. Here we go. You don't vote for unions. What I'm saying is it's fair. The free market, unions, stop non -unions, it, stop the free it. market. This is New Everybody. Hampshire. If you can buy it here and have it made here, you ha buy it here and made it here. Is there a disagreement but on that? I agree. Okay, but you're not that's listening. All I want to hear. You're an idiot. That's all I want to hear. I'm an idiot. What did I say about in kind yeah, contributions that second. come from out of state? Uh, that buy this stuff and send it in. In kind contributions. You don't get it. I'm going to propaganda. Yeah, I go to propaganda. I'm tired of dealing with you. <laughs> You know, I get my blood pressure off coming up here once a week. <laughs> you know, is it worth the aggravation? Yeah, of course it is. No, it's I'm not. I'm better for you. No, you're yeah, not. Yeah, I, I, look what I did. I spent an hour fighting with you. Brian. I made him smarter. I spent an hour fighting with you over garbage. Oh, I, because you don't get it your way. No, because you're telling me. So you, you told the people. started out talking about Hillary Clinton. You got the presidency. In my you town. You've got to change the subject? In my town, I have a great embroidery shop. Londonderry, the guy's been in business for 30, 40 years. He does a lot of stuff for the town, the schools. You go in his thing, he's got all the machines, everything right in his shop. He don't send them out to be done. The newspapers, local newspapers. I got a, I got a question. You're going to go home tonight. You're going to go home tonight. Tonight, yeah. Okay. And I got you're going to get, you're gonna get some advertising. You're going to get some advertising, right? Right. All right. Okay. Why don't you find out where it's done? I already do. No, no. Why don't you find out where it's done? Yeah. If it's done in Massachusetts and the people here are running mm -hmm. for a political office here. Okay. Hold on. If you get the value packs in the mail, you know where those value packs are printed? With all that, there's a big package with a bunch of coupons that come in the mail. That business is in Londonderry. They print them right there in Londonderry. It's called value you know, pack. You get a big envelope you know, with you, all these you know, coupons. You know, Al, I don't know Do you why. Get that in the I mail? don't know why. When I tell you the state of New Hampshire sending printing out without getting without getting any uh, any other quotes, when I tell you that the senators, the governors, 
senators, and I'm talking to senators and congressmen, that's the Democrats. On the bottom. When they do this and they send it out and they Did write, you, you must support the state of New Hampshire, the city of Nashville, the city of Manchester, and they send it out to Massachusetts, that's wrong. No, it, if the money's coming from out of state, if it's an in-kind trust, look at the bottom of it. Oh, I give up. If it's for the governor oh, yeah, of the okay. state, look at the bottom and yeah. see who paid for it. It's required by law to have it on the bottom. That's where it comes uh, from. You know something, you don't ladies, understand you know something ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you what. Next time, I'll tell you what. Next time I'll bring, I'll bring, bring it, it in. in. I didn't bring it in. I'm bring sorry. Bring it in so I'm I can sorry. show you how you're wrong and see All who right. paid for it. All right. Governor Sununu's stuff there comes from in New Hampshire. That's bull. Unless it's That's a bull. Unless it's That's a company, bull. a business That's from bull. out of state that is paying. Every, every single individual, I have seen it. They are sending it out. And they, and That's not true. Yes, they are. That's not yes, true. Yes, they are. Do you know the ones that uh, I did in my district for elections? I had them done in my town. I, I did them at, at Staples. Staples got the machine and everything right then and there. They got the computer system. They got the huge printers. I did it all right there. My little palm cards that I passed out, things I sent in the mail. I done it at Staples because I got a good discount. So I don't understand what you're saying just you Nashua. Know, you know, Al... I didn't say Nashville. I said yeah, you did. all over the state. Yeah, you did. All no. over the state. You said there's happening. nobody else. All over no, the state. No, I didn't say that. There's only one union, <laughs> one legal union you know place some, in the state of New Hampshire. We, one. We have many businesses. Okay, the Capitol does a lot of union. They do the SEIU and other stuff. I don't understand where you get Are they union? This. I don't know if they're union. I don't, oh, I see. You know what I mean? Yeah. But he does. I you see don't that he does. the union. No, nobody said it didn't support the union. Well, you just said they I get support union. Americans working. Right, here in, here in the state here in of New, New Hampshire. Hampshire, yes. Right, okay. But if your money's coming so in from another I, state. I have a question to ask you. you I don't a, get it. I'll tell you what, you I have a question it. to ask you. And I'm we can do it right here on the air. Garbage. No, we can do it right here. Okay, Listen ahead. to me. If I bring stuff in, and it's done from Massachusetts, and you can see this, will you call a candidate right here and ask them why they did that? I will look at the bottom, and it, because if it's a political literature, it should stay on the bottom who paid for it. Once I read at the bottom who paid for it, that will tell me why it came from another state. That's, that's... Oh, God. The Democrats do it all you the know, time. I was fuddled with Democrat you know, literature from all over the country. You were quiet. Why are printing companies going out of business? You know, some... I was given... Tell you know me, what I... Tell I, me. By, and by the way, right. I don't get any discount from this guy. I got tell here... Me. Tell me Look a printing at, company. I, my tell people me a printing are on 32 that you know. hours a week, and we got so much business that are okay. going out of state. Tell me a printing company. What's wrong with you? Tell me a printing company what is that wrong I can, with Tell you? me a printing company that went out of business that I can look up right now. Tell me one. Tell me one that you know of. I'm not going to. Cold printing here in Nashua went out of business. Cold printing. Yeah. In okay. Nashua. It was about 25 years ago. All right, oh, we got 25 six years ago. We got, we got, oh. we got six minutes. Right. What's taking, you see, he okay. throws stuff out there. Right. It's garbage. What is taking place up at the State House? What is taking place? We're, we're waiting to find out there if the Speaker gets the job as the Commissioner for Agriculture. Do you think he will? Farming. I think he's got a good shot at it. Who's, yeah. uh, and has, does he have any competitors? No, he's the, it's the one, the governor uh, is the one that puts up with his candidate who he wants. So basically he has to go through the... He's got to go through the, uh, the agricultural board. Uh, they're going to sit down in, on November 7th. And then I think November 25th, is the executive council votes on it. Yeah. And if he's voted on the 25th, he'll resign. He'll be sworn in as the commissioner. Well, can we go to the agriculture... Is that, that's going to be open? That's going to be yeah, I'm public. sure it's open. Yeah, it's public. I mean, it's yeah, public. you can. Yeah, you can do that. I don't see why not. I mean, uh, you know, hey, God bless him, you know, uh, the speaker, that he's, you know, if he, he's, it was a chicken farmer, I guess, for his family for so many years. Yeah, well, he also went to, uh, was it UNH, also agriculture, right. so he's, yeah. you know, he's, he's certainly mm -hmm. qualified, qualified. Good for him. And you want to know something, ladies and gentlemen? To get to become Speaker of the House is out of 400 non-paid people. Just to mm -hmm. do that is quite amazing, all right? For anyone to give that mm -hmm. up, to take this job, yeah. I have no idea what's it, why this is doing it. Uh, Somebody calling you. That's what it is. You got a call coming in. Yeah, okay. I think you, you hit them. They were on the line. Let's see. Put the, put the voice thing on. I'm talking to anybody. All right. Uh, to give up to give up the speakership is like is only fifty in the in, in the country. All right, to to give this up is such a big deal. But you know why? I'm going to tell people why. 
a speaker is like 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There is no question right. about that. That's why All right? Uncle did. He has to make some up. money. No, it, well, it, he has got to make money. He, uh, Sean is retired, I believe, and has um, he's got property and other stuff, rental property. His family he was pretty well to do. His wife's family too. His, wife, his wife's a nice lady, and um, you know, like myself, I'm retired. I have the time to do this. I don't raise a lot of money for my election. I pay for my out of my pocket. Okay, I'm fortunate, and my wife makes good money. You know what I mean? So I can afford to do this. Yeah, your wife. No, my wife. No, no, no. I'm, that's you know, that's not. What I'm saying is, but I make enough too. That's not negative. I provide because if it wasn't for my wife not supporting me, mm -hmm. I could not do it. Right. If your wife wouldn't support you, mm. you could not yeah, do no, it. I did it before she was married to her. No, yes. but I'm just no, saying no, if she yes, didn't could. support you. No, wait. Oh, if she, she didn't, didn't support, want you to do not it. Not financially, I'm saying. But yeah, yeah I'm would. talking. She didn't want yeah. you to do it, et cetera, and it was a headache. You wouldn't do it. I wouldn't worry about it because I yeah. would continue. My first, my last wife didn't want me to do it, and I still did it. What are you talking about? You divorced her, too. Yeah, I divorced her. <laughs> <laughs> Did you steal my pen? Yeah, you probably dropped it. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it was right down there. Yeah, All right. It was probably one right, you took from two, somebody. We got two minutes. Look, Al, Al uh, there's a possibility I may become alderman here in yeah. the city of Nashville. And, but let me make you something really clear. You probably won't be able clear. to do this, though. If I do anymore. become, this is show will be after. If I do become alderman, thank you very much. Now, if I don't become alderman, her name is Esther Boris. Mm -hmm. She's a businesswoman. She's a mother. A uh, single parent. She works very, very God hard. Bless her. She's very qualified. Mm -hmm. So if she wins and I come in second, mm -hmm. I Ward Six will be fine. The difference is is the information I can bring back from Concord, especially when it has to do with banking, etc. You know, right? I, so I, I have to it'll be all over. I have I wish I got to meet this lady because to see a she single come on. to see a single mom excel. With children and working. And oh, those the kids are growing them. up. I'm sorry. No, I, don't, uh, I don't mean it okay, that way. Okay, but I'm yeah, saying, yeah. my wife had young children. She was a single mom, went to co got a degree. She was determined not to go onto the welfare of the system. So she got an education in GIS, database administrator. She makes good money. Yeah. But she was determined with four children to get educated. So when she was going through a divorce, she did not have to depend yeah, on I mean, the system. Uh, no, no. Uh, the, the, so the, these, got, ki these kids have grown. But what, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, is that I really wanted to bring her in and show her sign and, and to talk to her because I was taught uh, when I did radio by mm -hmm. Ed Leishus, and it was real simple. Mm -hmm. If you invite one person, you yeah. have to invite the other person. That's the way you it goes. I got one question. Have I once mentioned that I was running for alderman? Yeah, we did in the beginning. I said you were. You, but I didn't say anything, no, did I? I did. And no, did I mention don't. her name? No. And I mentioned her name. If you do win, are you still going to do the show? What? Are you still going to do the show? Yes, I you am. Win? I'm going to bring him on. I was hoping you said no. All right. What do you mean, no? I'd have to bring in a real Democrat, a moderate. Yeah, moderate. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but anyways, um, you know, it's been going great. I mean, I get to slap you around. I get aggravated, <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> And, um, you know, what are you going to do? All right, I'll, I'll, hopefully, I'll, um, I'll, All right, you can get in touch with me. Hopefully I'll be the speaker soon. Ken Gidge, Gidge World. Al Baldassam on Facebook, Instagram, all over. 425-6997, www.albaldassam.com. never forget, Forty One Hall public Road, access Londonary. TV is the best. Oh, Support it. It's Freedom of speech. the only place you can do this like right. it or not freedom of speech you may come on here if you want to if you dare to come on my fellow veterans give you the right to lie and deceive people there because they many gave blood so you can do this here freedom of speech and not tell the truth god bless you <laughs> okay yay hillary Go Trump. yay hillary Go Trump. Yay, hillary. oh she'll be in jail soon <laughs> <laughs> oh she won't yes she will you guys are so good
The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.